now we will see the solution method and the type of simulation so if you go to this solution method you will see the pressure velocity coupling scheme actually this is the algorithm how the transport equation will be solved here you have four options this simple algorithm is actually the full meaning is the semi implicit method for pressure linked equation if you go to CFD online you will get a brief documents for the simple solution and how it works with its algorithm but we are really not interested how it works at this point we are interested how to use this simple scheme so if your problem is really simple if you have a viscous flow flow through a pipe or flow through a duct or tube or flow over a cylinder or a mixing elbow you can use this simple algorithm or simple scheme after that you have spatial discretization this discretization will solve the numeric problem based on your mesh how it will take the solutions and how it will proceed from one step to another step here you have the gradient that is leach square cell based you can use it green gauze cell based or green gauze node based if you want in general we use leach square cell based for 2d simulation for pressure you have standard discretization you can change it to linear second order body force weighted it depends on the problem setup and how you your problem is defined so if you are really interested about the spatial discretization you can search online or you can study literature how the problem has been set up and what are the standard means what are the linear and second order discretization means so for a simple geometry and simple CFD problem we always use standard for momentum discretization that will solve the momentum transport equation and then we will find out the velocity the discretization you have is first order upwind second order upwind power law quick and third order every option has a different approach and different mathematical expression so if you are interested you can search online check the literature you can go to any cfd advanced cfd books and you will get the mathematics behind this my suggestion is for simple geometry and for simple cfd problem you can use either first order upwind or second order upwind second order upwind will give you more precise result compared to first order upwind so you select all of those and then you will go to solution control solution control is a really interesting parameter here you have under relaxation factor so if you see clearly here you have pressure density body force and momentum if you know the transport equation for CFD that is the navier stoke equation and it's modified to transport equation you have four variables three of them are velocity and fourth one is their pressure as right now we are doing laminar flow our pressure and momentum is the driving variables and this relaxation factor is a kind of variables or is a kind of factor that slow down your numeric solution from one node to another if you try to solve numerically the solution goes from one node to another and when the solution goes from one node to another it takes 30% of the pressure value and 70%
of the momentum value right now so it slow down the velocity the pressure term and the momentum that is the velocity term because it gives you more precise result and it gives you less error pro propagation so if you want to change it you can change it if you want very fast convergence you can increase this relaxation factor if you want slow convergence you can decrease this value but make sure you are doing the right relaxation factor you are using the exact value if you are not sure what is the exact value then leave it as it is you don't need to change it right now and as we are doing incompressible flow our density is constant so the density relaxation factor is one we don't have any body force significant amount of body force right now that's why we our body force term is also one so the change of variable is the pressure and the momentum now monitor if you go to monitor you have residue statistics and force monitors the residue if you go to residue and edit you have the option here you can see the error propagation your continuity your velocity how it changes with iteration and time here you have the convergence criteria right now is 10 to the power minus 3 that means if the error of one node to another node is less than 10 to the power minus 3 less than the order of 10 to the power minus 3 then it will consider it as the solution has been converged you can increase this convergence criteria that will give you more accurate result but it will take more computational time here you have the option you can print the values of velocity and continuity terms in the print console and plot option it will show you how the velocity the and the contours are changing you can see as you will see in the next uh, during the calculation and you can plot you can change the colors everything so select ok here you have the drag and lift so when you have an external flow you have a drag force and a lift force especially when we deal with airfoil we have drag force and lift force for this we can also monitor the drag force and the lift force if you want to see the drag and select this boundary wall and select the direction vector our drag force is will work along the velocity streamline that is the x direction that's why the direction vector is 1 if you want to see the lift force here the lift force is acting towards the perpendicular of the flow that's why the y direction vector is 1 and select this and then ok then it will show you the lift you can also see the momentum how much force is acting on your body then solution initialization solution initialization is a numeric process by which you will apply your boundary condition and you will initiate your solution at the beginning because this is a numeric solution and you have to initiate your first guess so you can use both standard initialization and hybrid initialization standard initialization will ask you from where you want to initiate you can select all zone you can select inlet or whatever you want or you can select hybrid initialization it will solve the whole domain for 10 iteration and then you can run your solution so i will recommend you to use hybrid initialization so select hybrid initialization and initiate and here you can see fluent will calculate 10 time 10 iteration then calculation activities 
right now you don't need to worry about calculation activities we will discuss a little bit about the calculation activities in the next two or three tutorial then go to run calculation now you have number of iteration reporting interval and profile update interval number of iteration means how many iteration you want let's say we want 100 iteration first and reporting time means after how many iteration it will show you in the plot and in this graphics con console so right now it's one so after each iteration it will plot the variables and it will print in this print console so we will start calculation so select calculate and ok then it will start calculation if you can see this white line is your continuity and this red and green line is your momentum that is velocity and it's reducing so that means your solution is converging so make sure that your continuity equation is reducing or the continuity curve is reducing if it goes up then your solution will diverge eventually your case will be failed right now we gave 300 iteration that's why it calculated 300 iteration let's say we want 200 more so write 200 and then calculate again because our continuity and velocity is still reducing so okay and it will calculate and it's still reducing so our solution is now you can see the solution is converged because it meets our convergence criteria here in the print console you can see that our convergence criteria was to go to residue 10 to the power minus 5 continuity residue velocity and to velocity here this column is for continuity and these two for x velocity and y velocity here you have the continuity residue 10 to the power minus 5 and here 10 to the power minus 7 minus 7 so the velocity is converged already but it is waiting for the continuity to converge and once the residue becomes the order of 10 to the power minus 6 it's saying that the solution is converged so this is how the solution and the method of solution is selected in fluent you can change the methods you can change the solution scheme you can change the residue parameter the convergence criteria the monitor options lot of things in the next tutorial we will see how to post process the data and how to present and save your data thank you